For introducing manual products to a chemical batch, meaning those things that either come in jugs or bags, we offer two accessory devices to quick draw. Our 20 gallon Kim Blade eductor tank and our Kim Caddy. Uh, both of these are available on our swing down parallel linkages so they can be very easily stored for transport. But then lowered down to the ground so the operator never has to get onto the trailer in order to mix a batch. They also feature gas springs uh, to assist in lifting them when we, when we store them back for transport. First of all, let's take a look at the 20 gallon Kimblade eductor tank. So if we go ahead and open the lid up, take a look in the top, we're gonna see that this is equipped with the Kimblade knife. That large three bladed knife is going to be used to cut the jug, empty the contents, do that very fast. Uh, inside, it, we see that we have a rotating rinse head. Uh, when we use the lever over on the right, we can open that up in order to rinse the inside of that jug. Additional, we have our auxiliary rinse head. Uh, when we have a jug that we've emptied via pouring, uh, we can turn the jug upside down on that rinse head in order to rinse it. And lastly, our third nozzle in the tank is this uh, nozzle that points directly towards the outlet. That's utilized when we're mixing dry material in order to keep uh, that material flowing into the, into the tank bung there in the bottom. When we're at the point in the batch that we're ready to put in a jug, we'll take our jug and we'll simply push it down on the knife. That's gonna split the knife. The lever on the bottom is gonna open the discharge, allowing that to suck out. Then we're going to open our rinse nozzle, our bottom lever. Uh, that's going to rinse the interior of that jug. Once we've completed that process, the jug is empty and clean. We'll then close our valve, and now we are ready to move to the next step in the batch. Now let's take a look at the Kim Caddy. Uh, for measuring those partial jug measurements. So in this particular batch, um, we need 76 ounces. So we have our marker set at 76 ounces to make it easy for us to see when we've, uh, when we've hit the mark. We simply pour product in the top as we watch. Once we've hit the mark, then we open the valve on the bottom. That is going to uh, go ahead and suck that product into the batch. Valve right here is our rinse valve. When we open that, that is going to send water completely through the vessel. I like to hit it just a couple of times to ensure that uh, we are uh, completely rinsed out. Once we've completed measuring that, we just go ahead and close the valve on the bottom and we're ready to move to the next step in the batch.